At the end of the Buu saga, Majin Buu had the chance to go on to become the most powerful incarnation of himself. Once Vegito was inside him, anything was possible. It was at that point, Buu could have absorbed him and gone on to become what all the gods feared most. Not many people know this, but Buu's heritage goes all the way back to the creation of the universe. He was made into existence along with the universe. So what would have happened if Buu had his way? The ability to absorb any life that he sees gives him the potential to be as strong as he wants. And in this story, he doesn't absorb Vegito, but he does get the next best thing in Goku and Vegito. Vegeta separately, and when he absorbs Goku and Vegeta, it actually changes him a lot. You start seeing elements of that native Saiyan drive to always get stronger. Combine that with Piccolo, Gohan, and Gotenks, Majin Buu is no longer evil. Instead of wanting mass destruction like his original form, he restores the Earth to its natural state. The only thing he takes from the Earth is its most powerful characters, the likes of Goku, Gohan, and even Bulma. That's right, Buu sees Bulma as worthy enough to absorb because she's so smart, and and then he leaves. He has no interest of blowing up the Earth or blowing up any planet really. By absorbing Goku, Majin Buu took on a lot of his traits. He is actually now a very peaceful character, but having said that, if he sees someone that could make him stronger, he will absorb them, even if they're innocent. Buu goes around the universe looking out for the most powerful guys, and he does this for a few years. Eventually what happens after a few years is he becomes the strongest character in his universe. He becomes so strong that they don't call him Majin Buu anymore, his name is now Zen Buu, representing his true enlightenment. Although, another name for him could easily be Omni King Buu because he has all the powers of the Omni King, if not more. It gets to a point where Zen Buu becomes an omnipotent god. He is the Zeno of this multiverse, and this is his house. He's even got a better house than the Omni King. In this house, what makes this interesting, millions of people come around from all across the universe to have their wish granted by this omnipotent Boo. He is so powerful that he can grant wishes and he actually is using it for good. All the years of exploring the universe and absorbing people has led Boo to a point where he is the Omni King of his universe, except he is so bored that he is granting random people's wishes and if he likes the idea of the wish, then he'll grant it. And he has become more powerful than the Omni King in this story. Story. What's funny is since Boo is offering up this service of granting people free wishes, there's people trying to wish for all sorts of things like immortality, more strength, more wishes, stuff like that, but Boo denies them all. He grants wishes based on fairness and however he's feeling at the time. So he's a very self-aware Omni King. Eventually Videl shows up from Earth and because it's been years since she's seen Gohan and the rest of the guys that Majin Boo's absorbed, she wishes to bring them back to the same Boo who absorbed them. Of course, of course Boo denies this, but it's a nice touch, it shows that it actually hasn't been that long if Videl's still alive. The main point of this is showing off what Boo could have become, and honestly what he still could become. He is not evil or good, he is just omnipotence. He has turned into such a chill guy with the power of omnipotence. That is the story of Majin Boo, Zen Boo, in a multiverse where everything went right. This is the arc where Boo became his own Omni King, and it's weird because every DBZ villain, if things went their way, they would have been destructive, evil, they would have carried destruction all throughout the universe. But with Super Boo, who's somewhat intelligent, it turned out very different. Aside from Earth losing Goku and his family, the universe is at peace with Boo in control. Let me know what you think. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Dragon Ball video.